Yeah, very rural. My uh, first girlfriend was uh, this, I think, the youngest of a family of eight kids, farmers, just kind of across the road. Um, you know, it was the sort of thing where you ran around barefoot all the time and stuff like that. Um, you obviously walked to school. The whole concept of school buses and stuff were, you know, ten years down the road sort of thing. So, um, yeah, it, just, uh, it was simple. Um, I don't know, just lived in a small house and had a garden and swings under the willow tree and a pump in the backyard that you stood and pumped. Oh, <laughs> used to play in the hayloft all the time. That was always good fun. Uh, you know, and, and oh, <laughs> there, there was a creek ran behind our place and her place and like through their pasture and in the summer we would we would play in the creek and we would build rafts and we would sail on our rafts and of course there'd be leeches so we had to deal with those they had a a root cellar in the side of the hill in the in the pasture and so that was a great place to go, especially in the summer when it was a little bit warmer, you know, you could go in there and play in there. Um, we used to ride, when they put the hay into the loft, it was loose, it wasn't bales, it was loose. And so what you could do is they would put a big fork down into the wagon that had the hay on it, and then the horse would go down and it would raise that up. Well, you get to sit on that. And then when they released it, it fell down into the into the hay, and that was a lot of fun. In the winter, we tobogganed. Um, we, we both had good hills near us, toboggan, and skate, you know, like it would be nothing to take your skates to school and then stop at a pond on the way home and skate, you know, until almost dark, and, you know, then you'd be in trouble because it's dark. Typical, you know. Um, what else did we do? Their home, my, my friend's home, was a big farmhouse. Well, with eight kids, you can imagine. So we would often take over, um, you know, one of the bedrooms that would sleep two or three of the girls or whatever, and we'd make a whole hospital ward, and we'd, you know, with dolls and all that sort of stuff, and play hospital and doctor and all that kind of stuff, whatever. I think um, simple things. You know, obviously there wasn't the technology. We didn't have a TV until I was in high school. So, you know, you, you had to make your own, your own fun, your own imagination and, and, and do stuff.